All right, y'all, it's Pat with Texas Freshwater Fly Fishing. Um, today we're gonna do a video on kind of cleaning and restoring uh, this old reel I got. I actually ended up getting three old reels uh, on, a, on a Facebook sale for 10 bucks, so I thought it was worth it. And we're gonna take, them, take this one apart. We'll do the other ones later. We're gonna take this one apart, give it a good clean, and see if we can get it to uh, where it can almost fish like new. This reel right here is a JC Higgins model 312.31130 uh, from what I've researched. I think it's a kind of an old store brand model reel. Um, it was made in the USA. I feels like it's got good quality to it still or decent quality. It'll, it'll work all right for me. So I'm gonna take it apart, see what we can do. Okay, um, I think the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take off the screw so we can take apart the reel. Do this carefully, I don't want to strip it and damage anything. But you can see how much dirt and corrosion and stuff there is around there. popped out you can see how much dirt and grime and build up there is in there try to keep it in focus as best I can for you here um, it is dirty and not turning real well but I think we can clean it up and make it work all all right so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off all this line doesn't want to come apart. Boy, it's so dirty you can you can smell it. There we go. Now we got all the line off. You can see how much dirt and grime there's built up all over there, all over in here. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a once over with a Q-tip. See if I can't get some of this nasty dirt and grime off out of here. see the color change just from wiping it down 
how much nicer that's going to end up looking. Actually, I think I'm going to go get a paper towel and see if I can wipe it down with that. All right, I got myself a paper towel. Let's see if I can't go any go a little bit quicker with a paper towel than with the Q-tip there. Oh yeah, that's going to be better. I'll lose that screw. to with the paper towel so I'll go ahead and use the q-tip to get down in there clean it up a little bit so much better. First time I think I've seen a little bit of damage here on this reel. I don't know how much it's gonna affect things, but it does look like there is some damage. We'll see when we put it back together how well it works. It seemed like it wasn't affecting it too much before. cleaned off as best we can by hand we're gonna take it and we're gonna soak it in a vinegar bath it's four parts vinegar or one part vinegar to four parts water one part vinegar to four parts water we're only gonna let it sit there and soak um, let it soak for about 10 minutes and then we'll pull it out and continue the cleaning process. They've been in about 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and set them here and uh, 
see what we can what we can do with them now. Go ahead and wipe that down. You can see some of that stuff that was still stuck on there is starting to come off now. Like grime. much of it off as I can here. Kind of get underneath the handle a little bit. teeth and the gear. There we go. A bunch of that grime is coming off now. better huge difference the way the reel looks already okay go ahead and finish cleaning up this guy Let's see. bunches of grime still coming off Look at that, it's still a bunch of the ground coming off. This sun, this, this sucker was dirty. Pretty good and cleaned up again. Okay, finish up with this screw here. Yeah, the next bath we're gonna put it in is just water, and we're gonna put a little bit, and when I say a little bit, just a hint of Dawn dish soap in there. Get that mixed in. This will help get any remaining vinegar off the reel. Get it good and cleaned up. So get that mixed in. And go ahead. Put everything in this soap bath. Remember, there's barely any soap. It's mostly just water. And again, we're going to let it sit there for about 10 minutes. All right. The reel's been soaking in that just light bit of soapy water for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out. that to the side <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning everything off again just kind of go through that same process to clean everything off as best we can I don't know 
if you can tell in the video. But the color of the reel is looking so much better. Now I know it's not about how the reel looks, it's about the performance. But looks are good too. Oh yeah, all that last little bit of grease that was having trouble coming off is wiping off pretty good now. is really starting to break down and come off of there now. All right. And that's about as clean as I can scrub it right there. And the very last step is going to be to soak it in just a bath of clean water. All right. So my reel has been air drying all night after we rinsed it off for about, I probably put it in a, in a, pure clean water bath for about 30 minutes. Let it sit out all night to just air dry and get completely dry. And now all we gotta do uh, is lube it up a little bit and put it back together. So I'm gonna put oil in a couple different spots. Um, I usually put a drop right there on the shaft, that shaft. Um, I'll put a drop on either side down here maybe a little just on either side of that. So when it moves, it gets oil. <clears throat> I'll put, we already got one drop on the shaft. I'll put a drop of oil in there. So that'll be good and smooth when it comes around. And then the last place I'm gonna put oil, is right here on the handle. I'll try to get just a little bit right underneath there. All right, so that's the oil. I'll put a little bit of grease on the reel, not much at all. Probably not, I probably won't even put all of that on there, but I'm just gonna get a little bit of grease on these gears right here. Get that grease on those gears, that way it'll be nice and lubed up. So we'll put it back together. Put the screw back in. Tighten it up, and there it is. There you go, your JC Higgins model 312-31130.